everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of the video, I am off to Primark for the first time since it's opened. I really don't need to go, but I've watched far too many Primark calls on YouTube already and so I just couldn't resist any further. Stu went last week and he also needed me to return something. So it's just an excuse for me to go and have a mooch around, but you just know I'm not going to be able to go into Primark without spending at least 50 quid. So I'm bracing myself for that. But I've also just come to the biggest Primark in Leicester, which is the one at Foss Park, and I have not been here for ages and it is everything has changed. There's all these new shops, they've like doubled the size of Foss Park. There's a flannels. What on earth is flannels? Flannels, the next looks ginormous. I might go to next afterwards. I could be here all day, who knows? But I'm gonna go into Primark, see what I can find. I definitely want a few basics, but you know, who knows what I'm gonna come out with. If I pick up anything nice, I will do a bit of a try on at the end, so stay tuned for that. Loads of lovely spring and summer clothes, and I really was quite taken with this pink peachy bodysuit, only four quid, which was a bargain. They also had lots of floaty dresses, not sure what these would look like on, but really like the sage one and this one looked interesting too. I really thought this one looked comfy, long maxi dress and only a tenner. Had to pick up myself a couple of nail varnishes too. And I really like the comfy bras in Primark, lots of colours and styles. The shoes were perfect for work. And loads of comfy PJs in lots of very soft materials and colours. Then it was upstairs to check out the men's and kids stuff. Had to pick up some shorts for Emily, like the boys ones with the really nice belt on them. And they had lots of inflatables and outdoor summer stuff. I had um, nearly picked up a catapult for the girls but managed to resist. 97 quid well as i anticipated i was in there for ages i think nearly two hours it's half 11 um and spent nearly 100 quid which you know i think there's a few bits i will be going back to be perfectly honest i really do miss having a fitting room i don't like having to t make decisions without trying stuff on but hey ho we've got a whole bag full of stuff so very excited to get home and try some bits and bobs on i'm now wondering whether to go grab myself a coffee and brave the new next because it's huge whether just to go home but as I was leaving Primark it was getting super super busy to the point that there was queues wrapping up and down the shop and one of those people with the sign saying queue starts here um, and the queue outside of Primark was wrapping around the store as well so it was getting busy so I'm glad I went early so recommendation if you're gonna go to Primark go out so I'm back home after my very long trip around Primark had lots of fun mooching around seeing what they had that was new in store so I thought I'm just gonna whiz through all the things I bought today I have bought a couple of bits for my husband a couple of bits for the kids few clothing bits for me, a couple of pairs of shoes and a few other little accessory stuffs. So like if it's something you're not interested in, just click forward and you'll get to the bits you like. So um, I'll start with my husband because I've only got two things for him. I have picked him up some of these super soft PJs. So he had another pair of PJs from Primark and really liked them. So they're not the thin cotton ones, but they're not the thick fleecy ones either. Um, and they've got like a blue check and he just likes these, they're really nice and comfy. So I put, picked those up for him and they were a um, 11 pounds for the set he also wanted a new hoodie but we want he wanted one that was like quite big and slouchy so um, I've picked him up this nice it kind of it looks more green in the camera but it's a really nice color um, obviously with a huge pocket as well um, and that was eight pounds they had these in loads of colors they had a really nice purple but they didn't have his size a burnt orange loads of colors if you like the hoodies and for the girls, again, I just picked up two different things. Um, the first one, they're both a bit of a risk. My girls are now at that age where I can't really buy much for them without them being there. But they've not actually been shopping with me forever, so who knows if they'll like them. But um, Emily hasn't got a pair of shorts, and I absolutely detest girls' shorts. I mean, I don't know why people think it's appropriate to put five, six, seven-year-olds in hot pants, but 
Anyway, so I went to the boys section as I always do and I picked up these really cute little chino shorts that I thought were really nice and they come with a really nice decent belt which Emily will absolutely love. Um, so I've picked these up, they were in 60, age 6 to 7 and they went up bigger than that as well, £6. So I think she's going to really like those. And then for Jessica, she's not a fan of jeans, she just likes dresses all the time but they're just times when... You can't wear a dress, you need something a bit more durable. And so I've picked these up, sort of chino type trousers. Again, it's going to be a risk. They may be going back. We'll see if she likes them. They're in a really nice khaki green. I think they'll go with lots of different types of tops and things. Look really comfy. Seven to eight years, ten quid. Don't know if she'll like them. We'll find out when she gets home from school. And then in the children's section as well, but I bought it for me, get a bit of a risk. Sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. If I go right to the top of the kids, these age 14 to 15, sometimes the stuff fits me. And I saw this dress, the f as I was walking around the first time, I saw it and thought, oh, that was so pretty. I love that. But neither of my girls would like it. And I thought, as I was queuing up, I thought, oh, I wonder if they've got a big size. And they did. It's this. I'm going to try it on, see if it fits. It's got kind of a square neck line. The reason my girls won't like it is it's got elasticated, um, what do you call these? Sleeves, elasticated sleeves. But I thought it would look really pretty. Hopefully it's going to fit me. Um, I also bought one other dress for myself in, oh and that, it's a fiver. Five quid, if this fits me it's going to be a bargain. Five quid. Then the... Uh, the other dress I bought, which was this one. This print was everywhere in Primark. They had it in loads of different things. I think they had a dress, a top and a skirt, all with the same print, which is really, really pretty, ditzy, kind of a vintage colour. I think the style's quite vintage as well. It's got those covered buttons that you get. Um, I have no idea if this is going to suit me. We'll see when, we'll see when I try it on. I then picked up a, another pack of these wireless bras. So I've got one very similar to this. My one's more straight across, so I really like that these were a bit more V because I think that would be much better for summer. I don't wear bras, normal bras anymore. This is what I wear. I do not bother with any kind of underwiring. I'm all about the comfort people. So these are super lovely. They're nice. They're slightly ribbed. They're slightly padded. So... I love them and I, I needed a white or a cream and this has like a very light, it could be dusky pink, who knows, but light enough that it can go under light clothing. But I'm, I'm excited to have those. And then I've also picked up a bikini top. <sighs> Swimwear is the bane of my life to be perfectly honest, but I just buy individual pieces when I see them and hope eventually that I'm going to find some kind of perfect magical set. So I've got some high-waisted black and high-waisted blue and I thought cream top will look nice with either of those i thought it was really like a really cute design i can't be dealing with like really stringy bra tops it's got a decent clasp at the back decent amount of coverage quite liked it six pounds so hopefully that'll look nice and the last thing i bought for myself in terms of clothing were these kind of culotte shorts, paper bags, I don't know what you want to call them, whatever, they're, a bit of elast they're elasticated so they should be nice and comfy, um, £10 in a kind of cream colour with a tie waist, so looking forward to trying those on. I also picked up myself and Stu a plain white vest top because I wanted to do tie dye. And annoyingly, in neither the girls nor the boys section did they have any plain white tops. For the girls. So I've got myself a slouchy vest from which I just got in small and it was £1.80. Got myself one and I bought Stu like a singlet, very similar. He'll wear this in the garden and stuff. In the men's section, two quid. So got me and Stu one. <laughs> I haven't got the girls one. But there's a bit of a tradition that we do a bit of tie dye in the summer. So I don't know if Primark stopped doing white t-shirts or are they just out? If you know anywhere else I can get super cheap plain white t-shirts. The only ones they had were in the girls' section and they had all frills all over them. I was like, no, no, don't want that for primer. Don't want that for tie-dye. Right, the next things I picked up, I picked up two pairs of shoes. 
again, didn't really know how, if you can try shoot, you are supposed to be trying stuff on in the shop, so I didn't, don't know if they're going to fit me, don't know if they're going to be very comfy, picked up a navy pair of these, canvasy type shoes, I find navy goes with a lot of things in the summer and my other navy shoes are looking very worse for wear, so picked up myself a pair of those, three quid, three pounds, bargain. I also need a new pair of work shoes, my, like plain black work shoes when I work, when I'm doing some when I'm doing some supply teaching. I need to be something nice and respectable. Um, so I saw these, which I thought looked nice, just plain black, but I've got a nice little bit of stitching detail, and these were six pounds. Good, don't know if they're gonna be comfy or not. Try them on in a minute. Um in the homeware section, I spotted this little baby, and so I picked this up because I I want a plant, wanted to plant for my bathroom now that I've got some little shelves up in my bathroom. You can go check out that video I've got just reading my bathroom and it's got some nice gold accents and it's all sorted but just needs a few more decoration bits. So I saw that they had this hanging plant, £6, so I'm going to try and see what that looks like in my bathroom. A few random little bits from the beauty section now. The some hydrate and smooth lip and eye gel. Just fancied a new eye gel, really. Didn't know you could have lip and eye gel the same thing. Two quid. Gotta try that. Oh, missed something in the bag. Pink clay face mask thing. Just thought I'd have a go with that. 80p. Um, picked up two nail varnishes. I found I find that these the Primark gel ones are pretty good. They do they do last quite well. Um, so I went for. A bit of a random colour. I went for like a blue. Well, it's not called blue, I'm sure. I'm sure it's got a very much more it's called denim. Denim, pound. And then I thought, oh, you know, I could style it up a little bit and I could put some glitter on a couple of other nails. So I got the blue glitter one. Again, it's probably not called blue, is it? Blue glitter. Blue glitter. It is called blue glitter. Well done, Primark, for being normal. Um, in the glitter effect, £1.50. And then the final thing, I picked up a pair of earrings. I thought these were so pretty. Oh dear, they're all tangled up. Hold on, hold on. Right, here they are. Really, really pretty, like a really soft pink and a sort of a jade green and then a little diamond thing at the bottom. But they're nice how they go they go through your ear, like I thought they looked a bit different, two pounds. So I bought those as well. That's it, that is my Primark haul. Had a lot of fun mooching around, picked up some nice bits. Didn't go too crazy, but did spend a hundred quid. But I think some of it might go back, like the kids' stuff might not survive. Don't know about those shorts, don't know about the kids' dress that that's going to fit me. Who knows? We'll find out when I try it all on. But lovely to have you back here on my channel again. I'm um, hopefully we'll be posting more videos soon. I'm um, uh, not been very consistent recently. I try to post every Friday at 8 pm, but I haven't done that for the last two weeks. So I apologise. I will be hopefully back next week at 8pm as well. So catch you next time for more videos coming your way soon. Bye!